Hello and welcome to another episode of the Super Soul Model Series. I'm your host, James Gronsham, and thank you so much for tuning in today. I've got a great show lined up for you today. And the show is, is my top tips about how to get stress-free when challenges present themselves, because they will. Um, so guys, thank you for tuning in. And I have um, split this up into three categories, actually. Body, mind, and soul. And I was a little challenged earlier today and I thought, geez, I need to get myself back in the zone because I feel off my center. And I was thinking, what do I do to help me get back in my center when I fall off? And we all get these sort of challenges from time to time. In fact, you know, some of the, some days you're in the zone and some days you're completely out of the zone. So what do you do to make yourself feel better? Um, and this is what I want to want to share with you. Some of my tips that have worked for me and you just pick and choose what works for you, but at least you have a plethora of practical, functional tips that you can apply to get yourself feeling better because stress is when reaction occurs. And in order to prevent that from happening, sometimes there's some other things that we can do to put into place for us or at least have some new habits we can use to make uh, things better for us. And these have seriously worked for me. They work for me today. Um, and it didn't take long. So it's pretty easy about some of the things that you can do to make yourself feel better when stress occurs. However, it's doing them what really counts. You know, everything that I teach and everything that I share is all based on I can share with you the information, but you have to try and do it yourself. And then when you do have the experience, now you have the wisdom through the knowledge first that's been shared and then the second of all the experience because nothing really matters until you have your own experience because it's really experience that is the teacher. I'm just happy to be here sharing some information that's worked for me and I, I want to see as many people thrive as much as possible and, uh, and I was thinking to myself today, you know, I managed to turn being off my center around very, very quickly. So if I can do it, anyone can do it. And that's the purpose of this video. And I want you to feel good. And um, I want you to feel like you've got access to some things you didn't really think of before. So here we go. So the first category is body. These, um, some of them I'll be able to talk to you about in depth and some of them are so easy. Um, and of course you probably do them, but this is really important. A hydrated body, keep it simple. Get your two and a half liters to three liters of water in a day, fresh filtered water. A hydrated body really functions and you get better mental clarity from being hydrated. Um, so having lots of good water, clean water, sometimes with a little strawberry maybe in there if you border water, sometimes with a little lemon, sometimes with a little ginger in there. Try lots of little fruit infused waters during the summer months as it gets warmer. You'll feel so much uh, uh, more appreciation for the water than just sometimes bland. Now, moving on to my second uh, body tip that I highly recommend for feeling great and uh, reduce reduction of stress. Have you ever noticed when you're stressed, you notice the amount of water in your mouth is significantly reduced. So that's a really interesting uh, thing. So more hydration in the body and the more saliva, you'll notice more water available when you're less stressed and less water available saliva saliva wise in your saliva glands when you are stressed. Just pay attention to that and you'll notice. So that's quite an interesting thing. I learned this from Bert Goldman about, I don't know, must have been about 12 years ago, maybe longer. Um, there's something about the tongue connection. Um, the, your tongue, when it touches the roof of your mouth, creates this biological electrical circuit which calms you down, which calms anxiety. So anytime you're walking around, be conscious of where your tongue is. So the more it's uh, based on the roof of it, uh, you know, on the roof of the mouth, the more you've got this electrical circuit flowing, this biorhythm going. So this reduces anxiety, reduces worry and reduces stress. But you have to be aware of it. I notice that because when I uh, sleep and particularly when I meditate, I notice that my tongue is always touching the roof of my mouth. And when I heard that from Bert Goldman, it made so much sense to me of this electrical rhythm, because obviously our bodies are electrical. Um, our heart is an electromagnetic center. And it's fascinating. So try that as well. The tongue on the roof of the mouth. My third go to for the body, of course, is exercise. Get moving, 
get exercising, that changes your physiological state and gets the blood pumping and happy days. Exercise, you will know it, it's great for you, reduces stress, produces more endorphins, produces more serotonin, produces more endorphins, happy days, fantastic. Another great thing for the body, grounding, getting your bare feet out. I've got my foot up there. Um, I'm fortunate enough to be able to walk around uh, the property at the moment in this uh, um, quarantine experience right now that I'm having. Um, and I'm able to walk bare feet around, which is wonderful. And barefoot connects the neutrons with the ground to your body. And obviously it creates a flow inside the body. So walking barefoot on the grass is great for your feet. For some reason, we have this direct experience with nature that we intuitively and innately know that our bodies perform better. And it's also proven to show that we have a serious reduction in inflammation when we're grounded and when we're earthed outside. And as we were kids, we're so used to running around barefoot outside in the summer. And nowadays, you know, with the introduction of rubber soles since the like, I think it's like the 50s or something it is, there's been a, a, a barrier between us and the earth when the earth is the most simplest form of healing and rejuvenation there is. Now, it's not something that I do all the time, but it's something I do a lot, especially in the summer. And in the winter times, I've got myself a grounding sheet that I have in my bed, um, which connects outside or into the plugs where you're earthed. So if you're interested in that, I'll put a link below. Um, I really love Laura, Dr. Laura Caniva's work. Um, she's absolutely brilliant. And she's got some amazing case studies, particularly one of her own kids that talks about this a bit more in depth. So going barefoot grounding is a fantastic way to reduce stress in your life and inflammation. Now, one of the other things I want to talk about the body is, of course, taking cold showers. A cold shower can snap you out of a mood very, very quickly and can change your uh, body and physiology. Now, another thing that you can do to reduce stress in your life is take a hot shower and then a cold shower afterwards. I love Wim Hof's work. I think he's brilliant. Um, I do the breathing. So that's one thing else you can do for the body. And another thing you can do is obviously some cold showers. Get yourself in a cold shower, shock the body, because when you shock the body with cold water, especially first thing in the morning, you open the blood capillaries and all that good oxygen and all that good blood starts flushing through your system and you become healthier and then your lymph systems move and your heart starts running and you start spreading more beautiful energy flowing through your body. And that is really, really great for you. And it also helps your nervous system. So the better you feel and those little cold showers, you don't have to do them long. I tried doing it in winter. In about 2006, I was doing cold showers in January through to May. And I tell you what, it was not enjoyable doing that in winter because the only thing I learned was just do a cold shower and first thing in the morning. And I got used to it after about the third, fourth week and it still wasn't enjoyable. But for me in winter months, what I like to do, this is me only, is <clears throat> I like to take a warm shower and then I do a cold shower afterwards. So I do warm for a little bit and then I'll do like a minute of cold afterwards in winter time because for me and my body type, uh, I need to be warm, particularly in winter. And if I just go straight to the cold, I feel like it would take me like three hours to warm up after than that. But in the summer, you know, me having a cold shower in the morning is easy. Uh, but in the winter, I like to do a, a hot cold and then maybe warm again but at least what it's done is it's given me that invigoration and that invigoration for me is good enough so I really appreciate that and that feels good and my body really appreciates that so that's really been able to help reduce any stress and increase more flow in my life and of course breathing breathing is great a rhythmic breathing process but also I include that uh, that sort of uh, although that's body it's also included in my sort of meditation as well so those two are sort of interlinked. Now, another thing for the body that helps reduce stress is obviously your eating. Eat as natural as possible. Um, eat as healthy as possible. Eat as whole foods and organic as possible. Now, that's easier said than done sometimes. But most people say to get five fruits and veggies in a day. I'm a firm believer of absolutely smashing that. Um, I currently have at least two smoothies a day, one first thing in the morning and one sometime in the afternoon. And I probably put five, five to seven bits of ingredients in each smoothie a day, like spinach, 
barley grass, spirulina, fresh water, lemon, ginger, celery, um, avocados, banana, blueberries, you know, I'm piling all this good stuff in and in, in, the, uh, in the blender, oh, it's amazing. And I've got my folks on it at the moment and, you know, I'm noticing their skin changing, their eyes lighting up. And um, it makes such a big difference about what you put inside of your body. And if they're uncooked um, and they're unprocessed and they're straight from nature, that stuff's going to be great for you. Like the sunlight foods that are high in vibrancy, these colors getting inside of your body is going to help your body perform at its optimal level. Very, very simple. Um, I'm only reminding you of what you already know, but it's one of my go-to things. The better you feed yourself, the better you're going to feel and the better you feel, the less stress eventually you have. So now I'm going to move on to the mind. And with the mind, I'm going to talk about some of the practical uses that I use to help me reduce stress in my life and increase flow. Number one, what I talk about every week, meditation, meditation every single time. A practice of daily meditation will absolutely help you reduce stress and increase flow states in your life. And when you have more uh, flow states in your life, you become addicted to this, these good feelings. It's like the serotonin, dopamine and endorphins begin to rise in your body and you become naturally addicted and naturally high to this way of living instead of the reactive way of living. I used to do that almost 17 years ago. I was reactive all the time. And then when I started meditating, I became responsive, which means I was choosing how I wanted to respond. And I started becoming addicted to feeling good, addicted to the feelings that post uh, meditation would give me, which was this feeling of relaxation, this feeling of tranquility, this feeling of connection. Um, I'd never really felt these feelings before. And they were so profound after meditation that I was like, I've got to keep doing this. Now, do I want to do it all day long? No way. I'm, you know, I, want to, I want to be moving. I want to be uh, interacting with the world. But meditation is great just to calm the mind. It helps set the tone first thing in the day. And at the end of the day, it's a lovely way to unwind. The mind always wants to be active. But if you're the boss and you're controlling the ship, meditation is great because it's you're saying to the monkey mind that dances around on a on a moment to moment basis hey i'm going to give you something boring to focus on which is something like my breath or the fan or you know maybe looking at a candlelight or i'm going to pick a spot on the wall or i'm going to close my eyes and just listen for the furthest sound out that helps you meditate that helps you focus and that helps that monkey mind just settle down and give it something simple to focus on and it will focus on it because the mind is always wanting to find something new to focus on. And that's what meditation does. It helps you focus. And when you're dancing around with too much thought and your active thought is so intense, uh, you know, it, it requires a lot of mental energy and it can expend a lot of your energy, which can also make you get off center because, you know, before too long, you could find yourself on a spiral going downwards. Um, so, you know, meditation helps you come back to your center again. So I highly recommend it. That's my, men my first mental technique. My second uh, mental technique that I use is for focus is this. Obviously, I talked about it in a, a podcast or two ago, having yourself a gratitude journal, finding some way to uh, find at least five to 10 things every day of things you're super grateful for. And don't just write them down, feel the feelings of the gratitude of something you're grateful for. One thing that I was super grateful for, super simple today, is the sun came up and it was a really, really beautiful day today. In fact, one of the most beautiful days and mornings I've had. And it was so lovely to open the front door, go outside and look at the plants. And, and I was like, I was, I felt like washed and basking in the morning sunlight at like eight o'clock in the morning. I thought well, that was lovely. A few, few split seconds, but you know, something to appreciate because a few days ago it was cold and rainy. So, you know, Things change all the time. Now, another mind technique and practical use I have for reduction of stress and increase of flow is something I learned in a book called The Book of Affirmations, and that is by Noah St. John. This book is the Bible for using your mind powerfully. This book alone 
has changed a lot of things for me and I highly, highly recommend it. And I'll put it in the link below. Th this book is phenomenal. This book's premise is based on this. If you ask your mind questions, it will have to find answers. All our interactions are based on questions. You had a question, uh, you might have been drawn to the title of this and you want the answer. So the question that you're trying to find is, how can I reduce stress in my life? And you're thinking, oh, I'm going to look on Google or I'm going to look on YouTube or I'm going to find a podcast. Oh, I like that. That sounds good. Maybe there's something in there I can learn. Yes, of course. You ask the question and this is the answer. And that's how the mind goes. Now, a lot of people going around asking, this is the premise of the book that Noah St. John says, a lot of people going around asking really bad questions. I know at one point I did. And I know at another point I went around asking really good questions, both unconscious. But when I became conscious of the questions that I asked and was asking myself, things began to change very, very quickly. And things began, began to get a lot better for me a lot quickly. Not to say that weren't challenges. Of course, they're challenges. But this allows you to um, flow through life, feeling like you've got something in your back pocket when a challenge presents itself. And even if a challenge isn't presenting itself, you still got it and you still use it. Now, one of the questions that um, that he sort of teaches you, he, he went around saying statements that he didn't believe for years, uh, like affirmations. And, and he created this thing called affirmations, which is from the word affirmare, which is Latin for to make uh, to make true. Or to form, to mold. And I really love that. And I studied Latin as a kid. And I thought, oh, yeah, I kind of I kind of see that. And it's a great play on words of affirmations, which is something like I am happy and healthy. And this is basically asking the question, why am I happy and healthy? So you always put in a prefix of why am I happy and healthy? But I really like the way Noah St. John says it. He gets you to try asking questions that you don't feel like you've actually got the whole experience of it yet, but your mind now has to find the answers. Why am I happy and healthy and strong? And when you ask that question, your mind has to go and look for evidence of that. And that's basically the premise of it. Your mind is like Google. It wants to find answers. It wants to search for answers. But the better questions you ask for it, the better it gets. For instance, like, why am I happy and healthy and abundant and rich? And why am I so successful? And why is everything going well for me? And why am I living such a fulfilling and satisfying life? And why is everything improving? These questions are amazing. You just got to find out what questions suit you. Just recently, I thought, oh, I'd like to put this back into test again because I'd done it and stopped doing it. And then I started doing it again. And so what I did was I wrote a little uh, post-it note and on it. I said, why does money come to me so easily? And it's just a little fun, simple game. And uh, you know what, a day or two later, I received some unexpected money, amazing. And th this happens all the time, but please don't listen to me, have your own experience. You've got to try these things and you've got to be crazy enough to, to, uh, to try some things that are new that you've never done before. I mean, I was an absolute skeptic of everything I've ever done. And now here I am doing videos on things that I thought I'd never be talking about. Cause I was like, I'm not, I don't want to tell anybody this. But here I am completely exposing myself and feeling pretty happy with it, to be fair, because these things really work, but they work for me. Whether they work for you, that's up to you and whether you apply it or not. But go around asking the question, why is everything working out for me? It's a really good question to ask yourself. I mean, I like to say things are always working out for me, but why not ask the question, why is everything working out for me? Why, why am I lucky? I mean, when I started asking myself, why am I lucky? I mean, I really did find that I was very lucky. And I stopped asking that question. And then I started asking it again. And then it came back. And I really, really just love asking the question, why am I lucky? Because I noticed more and more evidence of it. Because my mind is just gearing and looking for information of where I'm more lucky. Why am I lucky? Why do things work out? It's a great way to move and meander through life. You're like moving through life with less resistance because when you're stressed, most of the things you're trying to ask things that you don't know the answers to. You're often looking in the future about things you don't know the answers to, um, usually to do with relationships, uh, money, career, health. It's always one of those. Yeah, and if you're asking, why is everything working out? Why is everything coming together for me? 
why why is everything going to be all right why am i going to be all right why am i safe and sound this just settles your energy right down your mental energy and then the energy inside of your body because when you feel good you feel it inside of your body when you feel nervous or you feel worried or you feel fear or anything you also feel it in your body so you've just got to be aware of what you're feeling and that's because what thoughts you're thinking is directing the, the mind which is directing the emotions and the feelings which you feel inside your body so the better you're thinking the better you're feeling the better your body the healthier your body why am i healthy why am i strong why do i have a strong immune system why do i feel great these things can change your life fast at least they have for me but you'd have to try that out for yourself but i highly recommend it now the section that comes to the soul i love the soul this is this is where you are finally putting the the jigsaw piece together the body needs to be well looked after if all your basic needs are met and your body's being looked after and you're doing things and taking great care of your body and then you're implementing some great mind techniques there as well that i've mentioned then the soul is just the icing on the cake things like spending a lot more time in nature beautiful for your soul very soothing very stress reducing and very flow encouraging another thing to do is music i did that last week or the week before on the podcast music is amazing i've done a podcast just for that the power of music alone can be a proper healer but get some pre favorite playlists on have a lot more music playing in music is a beautiful healer and it reduces a lot of stress especially things like um the sofeggio frequencies classical music in fact anything that makes you feel good is really great so music is a great stress reliever um and of course you know that but i'm here to remind you of what you already know now this is my last one you've got to have some sort of meaning you've got to give meaning to what you're doing can you contribute with love um, to someone else's life because if you're contributing to someone else's life by giving in some way shape or form to someone else you're going to feel filled up and when you don't feel good and when you feel stressed you feel like you're empty your tank is empty and earlier today before i did this podcast my tank was empty and i hadn't been given enough uh, TLC to myself so I needed to get centered and recharge my battery so I went and had a swim and I and I and I felt great and I've been going barefoot all day and I made myself some amazing smoothies and you know what I decided to have a little nap napping is great great for your soul napping just nap 20 pa 20 minute power nap helps reduce stress and it makes you feel better um, so all of these sort of techniques I've been putting together and then I was asking myself some questions that I was earlier why is everything going to be okay? Why is everything working out? Why do I know what amazing podcast I'm going to do today? Why do I know the topic of what I'm going to share today? Contributing to other people's lives. Me doing this video for you uh, feels like I'm contributing in some kind of way because I don't want to just uh, have all these experiences myself and not share them because I believe that you know we're here to share in some way, shape or form. Uh, you know what we've learned and I've been doing this for so long by myself and it, eventually it's quite nice to just give and share some of the things that you've learned because you want other people to feel good I don't want people to suffer I don't want people to to feel pain and, and during these times of quarantine there's a lot of stress that is easily being able to pick up and the news is inundates us with so much information and it can feel overwhelming so you know my gift of wanting to contribute on these videos and help share some ideas that you could potentially put into practice gives me meaning gives me purpose and also that you know i'm with my folks at the moment and you know they're needing help they're needing love they're needing care they're a bit older and so it's nice to be able to contribute and help them in a way so it's it's like a win-win the whole way so find find people that you can give to and look after and cherish because you're going to fill yourself up but do that from a place where you've had your naps where you've looked after yourself, where you've had done your exercise, where you've done your meditations, where you feel good, where you feel empowered, because the more you fill yourself up, the easier it is to give. And it's always better to give from this place of where you're already feeling good. And when you've got like nothing in your tank left, that's the time to have a nap, maybe eat some really healthy food. Um, and, and maybe if you can do some exercise, for sure do some breathing. And maybe if you can go for a walk in the park or in some place in nature. And my final, my final thing 
uh, that contributes to your soul is having uh, lovely people around to play with. You know, whether you're on the phone to your friends, um, on groups, on WhatsApp and stuff like that, all of these things count. Connecting with others is the reason why we're here and uplifting each other and listening to each other and having fun and loving one another is the purpose we're here. You know, that's what we're here to love, grow, to have some freedom, to explore, to have some adventure, um, to dream, to get what you want and for things to come together for you brilliantly. You know, we're here for freedom, growth and joy. That's our main purpose. And or, we want to have a sense of expansion and we can do that when we're with other people. So connecting with other people is essential for our soul well-being. So, you know, make sure you've got some really good people around you, great support network, people you can have a good laugh with on the phone or, or on the video calls. That is essential to your mind, body and soul well-being. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the show. I hope there's some, been some fantastic tips there for you. Maybe you thought of, for sure there'll be some in there that you already know of and some what you don't, but I'm going to list them just one more time and I've written them down. So, exercise, grounding bare feet, drinking fresh water, sometimes with infused water is always nice, ginger, lemon, um, strawberries, cucumber, all these types of things that make such a big difference. So hydrating the body. The tongue on the roof of the mouth is a great body exercise. The breathing of cold showers. Um, that's the body. Now going into the mind, the meditation, uh, the gratitude, the focusing on the gratitude, asking the empowering questions is a great idea. Um, that asking the empowering questions, man, that is a, a massive game changer. Um, and then for the soul, nature walks, connecting with your loved ones, music, and, and having support groups and fun people to play with and connect with on your phone like your friends. Find a way that you can give and contribute and find meaning and purpose, in however small it may be, but just do it because you'll feel better. And then, of course, your power nap somewhere in between always makes a significant difference. So anyway, these are all wonderful ways in which you can reduce stress and increase having a good sense of well-being and flow in your life. And uh, I hope they've been really helpful for you. A lot, All of these I use, and sometimes I use all of these all day long. But just pick one or two and see what works. Maybe it's something that you could start asking the empowering questions like the affirmations by No St. John. That's brilliant. And if you haven't, you should check out my meditation. Get that breathing going with the meditation. That is fantastic. But there's lots of information and uh, you just pick what works for you. But once you have that experience, remember it's yours. These words are nothing without you having the experience. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. Um, I so appreciate you. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And as always, please connect with me and on uh, social media at James Grantham. And I look forward to connecting with you next time. But in the meantime, I wish you green lights all the way.